Hey guys, what's up? So today I have a pretty cool little video for you guys. Um, this is going to show you a cool way to uh, conserve space, kind of, yeah, conserve space and resources while you are using Google Tilt Brush. <clears throat> now sometimes, um, those of you that have, might use it more frequently, you'll know that there's a little section to where it practically tells you like how much memory uh, you know that your project is actually taking up and when it starts to get into the red that's when things start to get glitchy so this method might uh, you know be of help to you so yeah that's great um, <laughs> yeah so hopefully you guys like it um, if it works for you let me know but and it's just something I was thinking about the other day I was like well you know technically if you do this blah 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 or whatever and that should work so anyway so um, yeah, it's also just a really good method to uh, get your drawings to kind of uh, flow better, I guess I should say. It's, it's, it's a workflow. That's practically what this video is. It's going to be a workflow. So, if you guys like it, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, I love my new camera, by the way. We have a whole new camera to, to film, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, I think it looks a lot better, so I'm pretty excited. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's jump into some VR. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support on the channel. I love you all. And with that being said, let's go into the far beyond. Here we go. Okay, cool. So we are recording. So um, I know I probably look silly with this thing on, but whatever. Um, okay, so we have this drawing. So I've, I, I did this drawing a couple days ago. Yeah, a couple days ago. Um, but anyway, so as you can see, it's got quite a bit of stuff going on, but I just want to show you um, this cool little method real quick. So first off, we can just take a quick, quick little look at the drawing. Isn't that kind of cool? So you got all this cool electricity coming off of her hands, and it's just a, overall, it's just an interesting, cool little drawing. So we've got leaves falling, we've got my name down there, we've got some flowers down there, grass, a bunch of cool stuff. We even got this cool necklace thing that she's wearing, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I want to show you. So this is um, this is a method that you can use. So if let's take a look at her face. So you see her face right here, right? So um, looks pretty good. So her face and then the upper body right here. So what I did, um, actually got to come over here. So this was actually the sketch. So this is what I was talking about. So. Uh, the tool that I really like to use when I'm drawing, oops, here we go, uh, is this one right here, the wired brush. I really like to use, uh, it's not really a brush, but anyway, um, I like to use this one for when I'm doing my sketches. Now, here's the problem. When you come over here, a lot of times, uh, the cost for your, uh, you know, for your, your or the memory usage is going to be really high when you use mostly just this to do like a huge drawing. So this one's up pretty high still, but that's because we have the trees and all this stuff. We have a lot of stuff going on. But if you were trying to do a full character and you want to do a sketch, now let me show you. So here's the method that you technically use, okay? So this was the original sketch. So here, actually, let's move it over here. Oh gosh, okay, let's move it back. There we go. Okay, so this was the original sketch, right? That was the original sketch. So what I did is I sketched this first and then, I'm gonna put it over here so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm actually saying. So, it was practically like this first, and then I took the, and I've showed this in my other videos kind of before, but I, the, um, uh, the unlit hall brush, and went ahead and filled in the spaces and used like the, the hall brush to kind of draw in little details. So as you can see, like the little lines right here, those aren't for the wire brush. So all of this is the um, the hull brush. So the hull brush, the thing that's special about it is the cost for that brush or the memory usage isn't as high as the wire brush. So you can do a sketch of your character. You can, so you let's say you start with the head and then you detail it in like I did with this head. And then you take it and you get rid of it, right? And then that will actually bring your cost down. So then you do the next part, which is actually the upper body part, which is what I did right here. So then you do that, and then you use the um, the hull brush, and then you fill all that in. And then you could do that, can continue to do that with all types of pieces. Um, and then when you're done, you just get rid of them. And then that will actually bring your cost down really low, so you can actually continue to 
um, have bigger drawings because this is and this was all done on the Oculus Quest 2 so this wasn't tethered to a PC I know sometimes people are actually uh, wondering about that but because uh, I, I someone had posted a comment and they were saying that sometimes the um, the things can kind of get buggy when you're working in just the you know or if you have a bigger drawing you're working with on just the Oculus Quest 2 like the headset I get that so this might be a method that can actually work for that so as you can see this is a pretty big drawing, you know, like it's, it's, it's pretty big and it's pretty detailed too. And you see like nothing is like slowing down. Like it's not glitching up or anything. Um, it's running nice and smooth. I hope I'm not <laughs> moving too fast for you guys on the camera. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so as you can see, see, look, we even have a little bit of detail up there. So yeah, so just a quick little video. So guys, try it out. Let me know if it works for you. Um, if there's anything that you guys want to know more about, feel free just to ask me. Um, uh, yeah, you can always shoot me a message on Instagram, uh, or you can just leave a comment down here below. I'll leave the links for my social media stuff, um, in the description of this video. But, uh, yeah, so I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, thank you for watching my video. If you enjoy my content, uh, please go ahead and give a big thumbs up. I never actually say give a big thumbs up with while I was in VR, but anyway, it's weird. My thumb couldn't go up all the way. Um. But yeah, so that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna take this headset off because it's actually getting pretty hot. Just because I don't have any fans going, just so you guys can hear me while I'm talking. Um, <laughs> so yeah, taking one for the team. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this content, and I hope this method will actually work out for you guys. So let me know if it's if if it works. So all right. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for checking out my content, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I love you all, and. Uh, I'll see you guys next time in the far beyond. All right, bye.